All right, guys, what's up? Finally making another video. Today we're going to be floating in this here $400 inner tube I got from Walmart with all these cool new accessories. Um, we got the uh, high quality carbon fiber rod holder over here. We got the $250 Cabela's Pro Series tackle box and tackle bag assessment over here. And of course, there's nothing better to throw than my. Uh, $1,500 combos here, Shimano Crusaders or whatever they fancy rod and reels are called. But uh, we're going to be walking way up through there and floating back down, hopefully catching some bass on the way. So this is the view from the $400 Walmart bass boat. Got one rod in the rod holder and I just lay the other in my lap. And I found that paddling like this is about the equivalent of having a four horsepower outboard. So we should be half a mile up the river in no time. Alright, I got the first one of the day on. Have a little bit of a camera difficulties. I know you guys aren't at the best thing. Oh. He popped off when I was trying to get the camera situated. It was on the pop bar though. Never a bad day to at least see one blow up. There's a fish. Figures. It's a little rock bass, but it's the first thing I've actually landed today. Had a pretty nice blow up over here, but couldn't connect with it. Nice little rock bass though. There's rock bass number two. Just haven't got into any smallmouth except for the one that I lost on the pop bar, but gotta stay hopeful. There's a fish. It's a it's a sunfish. Wow, what a beefy little dude. Little sunfish on the rattle trap. Not, not really little, but nice little red-breasted sunfish, I do believe. Maybe maybe a hybrid, I'm not sure. On the uh, rattle trap from the $400 bass boat. Yoki B!